Good afternoon there and welcome to this week's weekly weight loss vlog. It's been a while. Uh, this is another two for one. A buy one, get one free. The same as the last weekly weight loss vlog due to me being away. So I'm going to cover the last uh, two weeks uh, today. Yeah, because I didn't do one last week. Why? Because I was in Mexico. Uh, yeah, we've been away for a week. Um, eight days, actually. So seven nights, eight days. Uh, all inclusive. We went on the 3rd of May and we got back Saturday dinner time. So if I look a little bit tired uh, in this uh, vlog, uh, it's because I'm still suffering from a little bit of jet lag. So I'm recording this. It's quarter past four in the afternoon. Uh, so to me, it is quarter past uh, 10 in the morning, which is Mexico time. So I'm still a little bit on Mexico time, which is fine. But the fact that I've been up from seven o'clock this morning, which is technically one in the morning, yeah, is the reason why I'm a little bit tired. But a couple of days, setting the alarm, dragging myself out of my pit uh, and staying awake for the day, I'll be absolutely right as rain. Tan's on point though. I think the tan's on point. So uh, I'm pretty, pretty pleased with the old tannage because it was flipping hot. But I've had a really, really good time. Um, so yeah, so I went on the 3rd of May, which was the Friday. So this weekly weight loss vlog is going to cover uh, April the 29th, Monday, April the 29th, up until yesterday, which was May the 12th. Um, first of all, what we're going to get into? Well, I'll talk about my holiday if you want. Uh, we absolutely uh, love Mexico. It's one of our favourite places to go for a bit of sunshine. Uh, it's our fourth visit, uh, but our first visit to the hotel that we went to. Uh, my wife's cousin, uh, her uh, her and her fella were renewing their wedding vows, their 10-year wedding anniversary, and they sort of mentioned it to us about a year ago that they were going to go and do it, and would we like to come along? Bit of a family trip, and we were like, yes, absolutely. So we went over for that, um, and they chose the hotel, and do you know what? It was good. It was really, really good. It wasn't a hotel that we normally would have chosen because it was a bit more of a family hotel. Uh, and it was a Rio. I've never stayed in a Rio before. But you know what? Had a really, really good time. Uh, and the first time I've stayed in a Rio. But one thing, like I say, we've been to Mexico four times. We stayed in the same hotel twice, another hotel once, and then this hotel as well. And staff staff make the holiday they honestly can't do enough for you so i highly recommend going to mexico it was flipping up it was um on the app you know like um bbc weather app or um apple iphone weather app said it was 32 uh, but felt like 40 because obviously uh, an app generally shows the average throughout the day, and I think it takes the, the, the weather in the shade. Anyway, it was flipping hot. It's one of the hottest holidays I've ever been on. Uh, number one hottest holiday I've ever been on was Turkey, the first week of September in 2020, yeah, in COVID. Uh, it was the only place you could go on holiday, uh, and it was my 40th the first week of September 2020, and I wanted to go away for my 40th. We were meant to be going... Uh, to uh, America, actually, um, and drive the Pacific Highway. I wanted to do that for my 40th. That didn't happen due to COVID. Uh, but good old Turkey was still letting us in. Um, whether they should have been or not is a different matter. But anyway, we went to Turkey uh, first week of September 2020. That is definitely the hottest holiday I have ever been on. Uh, I think this might have been second, maybe third. We went to Mallorca. Again, kind of in COVID, uh, the first week of July in 2021. Uh, and that was ridiculously hot as well from memory. Um, I feel like Mallorca, the sun was hotter, but it wasn't as humid. It was really humid in Mexico. It was, it was red hot, but it was also quite humid. Um, anyway, um, there we go. But yeah, the weather was amazing. Um, we'd whinge if it wasn't really nice, wouldn't we? Um, Eating too much, drunk too much, as always. But that's what all-inclusive holidays are all about. And this holiday kind of finalises the last mental four, five weeks. So I went on a stag do on the 12th of April. Um, uh, and just coincidentally, the 12th of May was kind of my last uh, yeah, uh, yesterday. Although we were back on Saturday, which was technically the 11th. 
uh, I didn't start tracking calories again until this morning. From this holiday, I've tracked calories in between this mental few four week, uh, three, four weeks, uh, four, five weeks. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so I think, was it the 12th of April? I think it was, yeah, the 12th to the 15th of April, I went to Poland on a stag do. A week after that, we had a city break to New York for four nights, five days, and then a week and a half after that, we've just done this week, all inclusive in Mexico. I'll be honest with you, it was a bit too much. And it's just, we didn't plan it kind of like this. It's just the way things fell. We had New York booked for Christmas, but it was too expensive to go at Christmas. Hotels were just, we just booked the flights, didn't even look at how much hotels would be. Um, and the hotel that we stayed in a couple of weeks ago in New York was double what it cost us in April, the first weekend of uh, December. So we had to move the New York holiday because we just weren't prepared to spend the money of what it was going to cost to go then. So the only time we could actually move it to where it didn't cost us any more money for the flights was, um, yeah, the 20th of April was when we flew out there. Um, and we already had the holiday to Mexico booked and paid for. So it was like, OK, that's all right. And then in January, my friend uh, said, oh, by the way, it's my stag do. When we go in uh, the 12th of April, can you make it? kind of anyway i did so anyway it's just been a manic manic four or five weeks and i am so ready for a bit uh, of normality though i quite like the way each trip fell because mexico has been you know it's been sun lounger chilling in the pool few drinks reasonably relaxing sort of holiday whereas the other two were a bit sort of hectic as it were not that i really class a stag do as a holiday but anyway there we go um so yeah, I've not tracked calories for... Uh, I'll go through my food diary in a bit, but there's nothing to go through, really. Uh, I have not tracked calories. Well, today's my first day since uh, the 3rd of May. So I've had 10 days off tracking. Uh, I then obviously didn't track calories while I was in New York. I didn't track calories on my stag do. So really, I mean, if I go through my diary, I'm not going to pin this because I know I normally pin. But if I go through uh, my NutriCheck since, I, I think it's been six weeks since I've come, done a full week of tracking, if I'm being honest with you. Um, yeah, the last full week of tracking was week commencing, the 1st of April, um, which was basically, was that Easter weekend? No, week, no, it wasn't. Easter weekend was the weekend before, wasn't it? Uh, basically, yeah, week commencing the 1st of April. So 1st to the 7th, 8th, was it, uh, of, of April? Um, yeah, 1st to the 7th. Uh, after that, I track calories Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Then went on the stag do for three days. Well, Friday, Saturday, Sunday didn't track. Uh, I was travelling back from the stag do on the Monday, but I still track calories on the Monday. And I tracked Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Then we went to New York, so I didn't track Saturday, Sunday. Uh, or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday while we are away. Came back Thursday, started tracking again on the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, and I then tracked the 29th, 30th, 1st and 2nd of May. And then I haven't tracked for the last 10 days. So, yeah, the eating and tracking has been all over the place. But do you know what? I've never tracked calories when I've been on holiday, and I don't plan on starting now. Uh, would I rather have not had three periods very close together where it's a bit overindulgent, consuming more calories than I would do normally? Yes, but it is what it is. Uh, weight gain. Let's talk about that, Badger. So I jumped on the scales this morning. Um, I was going to get on the scales yesterday, but I thought, no, I'm going to do it on a Monday because I'm going to set myself a little challenge. Uh, whether I succeed in my little challenge or not, uh, and this only came to me kind of last night, or yeah, yeah, kind of last night, actually. I decided to weigh today as, as my restart, my post-holiday uh, restart weight, but... Uh, it came into my head last night and I didn't expect the number to kind of be what it is, which I'll tell you in a second. Uh, but I kind of decided last night that I'm going to set myself a challenge. Uh, I'm going to give myself however much weight I have gained. Uh, I'm going to give myself two weeks to get rid of it. OK, so I jumped on the scales this morning and I've gained from my uh, two, uh, uh, eight days all inclusive and not tracking calories for 10 days, 12.2 Yep, 12.2 pounds. Uh, is it all fat? No, we have to understand that about weight gain. We have to understand that. We have to get it in, in our head. Uh, I have pinned um, um, 
my progress sheet. Let me just have a look at the time of me recording this. Um, so uh, I have just for me, uh, just for me to, to pin it so you can see it. So this is my current progress sheet from Christmas. And I'm currently just £5.8 down from Christmas. So the lowest I have been is minus £22.2, um, which was literally on the 11th of April before I went on that stag do. So from that graph, it basically, well, you know, scales don't lie. In terms of weight, uh, I have basically gained £16 in the last four or five weeks, which is over a stone. Have I gained that in body fat? Absolutely not. Just from my own experience, my own knowledge of going on holiday, weighing before I go, weighing when I get back, how quickly I lose my holiday weight. And as you can see there from Christmas, um, uh, from Christmas, I know you can't see the weight I gained on Christmas. I actually gained 8.8 .8 pounds over Christmas. Um, I was uh, uh, 280 pounds. Uh, 20 stone pretty much bang on going into Christmas. Uh, and I gained 8.8 .8 pounds over Christmas. And as you can see there, within the first uh, 12 days, I lost 6.6 .6 pounds. Within the first four weeks, I lost 12 pounds. So uh, lost my 8.8 .8 pounds gain from, from uh, Christmas, which most of it would have been water retention, excess water retention, uh, and then the rest, uh, some body fat over, over four weeks. Now, yeah, my little mission, uh, and I'll report it. I, I'm not going to get on the scales again now, so I was going to weigh Friday next, uh, and um, Friday coming up should be my next official weigh-in, but I'm not. I'm actually going to weigh in a week on Saturday. Why? Because I've gained 12 pounds and a week on Saturday is 12 days away. So I'm going to set myself a little mission to lose 12 pounds in 12 days. That is my mission. So to lose uh, my all-inclusive holiday weight, gone. Um, is it going to be easy? No. I'll tell you why. Uh, I have got a bump this weekend because we are at a wedding on Saturday. If I didn't have that wedding on Saturday, I would smash it. I'll tell you now, I'll smash it. Why? Like I say, from my experience of, of, of weighing myself pre, post-holiday, blah, 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 um, normally around two-thirds of the weight I gain from holiday is uh water retention excess water retention because you know i'm in a hot country i'm dehydrated i'm drinking alcohol and my water intake i'm not joking i was such a prat if i'm being honest with you uh i'm in like one of the hottest holidays or on one of the hottest holidays i've ever been on my water retention last week was just uh, not my water retention my water drinking was just shocking you know i drink i'm already here today drunk about three or four liters of water I don't reckon I was doing two litres a day. I was doing a couple of litres of other things a day, uh, mainly, uh, yeah, different cocktails, a lot of Bacardi uh, and a few beers as well. Uh, but yeah, my water intake was absolutely shocking. So very dehydrated. I know that. I can tell that because I can tell it in my joints a little bit. When I get dehydrated, my joints really stiffen up. Uh, my body stiffens up. So uh, I'm very dehydrated. I am certainly retaining a good amount of water. Am I retaining currently eight pounds of water? Definitely. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. Um, but I am drinking a shed sort of water at the moment, getting nicely rehydrated. Um, also inside my system will be some excess food weight uh, and some excess water weight, really, I suppose, in a way. Uh, water weight and water retention are slightly different. Um, so I know I'm going to be able to drop six, seven, eight, nine pounds very, very quickly, probably in the next three or four days. Though I'm not going to weigh, I'm not, honestly, I'm not, I'm not going to get any of the scales till I'm going to go a week on Saturday. So a week on Saturday, 12 pounds in 12 days. So if, so if I've gained eight or nine pounds of water retention, it means I've gained three or four pounds of body fat. And that means I also need to lose three or four pounds of body fat. Like I say, got an all day wedding on Saturday, so it's going to make things a little bit trickier. But, you know, you just have to build that in. Um, I'm going to uh, bank a good amount of calories this week. I have literally put all my food in my diary. For the for the for Monday to Thursday this week, so planning ahead, been shopping this morning, got all food in place. Um, I'm going to watch my carbs a little bit this week. Now, carbs don't make you fat. Before people say, "I knew, I knew you were lying, Neil," when you said carbs. No, 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 no. 
I've consumed a crazy amount of carbohydrates over the last uh, week or so. And one thing a lot of refined carbs does is it stores a lot of water retention in your body. So I'm just watching my carbs a little bit. So uh, I normally make up about, I don't track macros. I don't look really too deeply in, into this, but just from looking through my diary and just knowing my own diet, normally about 50 60% of my weekly calories are made up from carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are four calories a gram. So I normally, uh, yeah, normally have about 250 to 300 grams of carbs a day. So around about 50%. Uh, and then I have a lot more carbs at the weekend if I'm being a bit looser with my diet because I've had calories during the week and it allows me to have a bit more flexibility and freedom. But overall, carbs make up about 50, 60% of my overall diet. Now, I'm not going teetotal on carbs by any means, but I am uh, watching the old carbohydrates because that's going to help flush out that excess water retention. And weight loss is weight loss. Weight gain is weight gain. So I'm carrying eight and nine pounds of excess water at least. I'm definitely carrying at least eight pounds of excess water. And that takes its toll. Eight pounds is quite a, a bit of weight to be carried about. And I want rid of it. I want rid of it. So um, certainly Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the way I've set my eating up, uh, no more than 25% of my calories are going to come from carbohydrates. The rest will be made up of proteins and fats. And that's going to allow a lot of water to flush out of my body alongside getting nice and hydrated. So that's going to equal a, a good chunk of that weight loss. And then, you know, let's say I want to lose four pounds of body fat by a week on Saturday. That's 14,000 calorie deficit. So I need to consume 14,000 calories less than I burn. Now, I'm going to make sure I burn 3,500 calories a day on average. Uh, I'm not going to do anything crazy. I'm not changing anything really, uh, other than I'm going to make sure, you know, the weather's decent now. So I'm going to do a little bit more walking, just increase my steps up a little bit. Um, it's a bit rainier today, but it's still quite warm out there and it's not unpleasant to walk about at all. Um, so I normally aim for around 10,000 steps a day on average, but I'm going to I'm not really going to change that target, but I'm going to try and average about 12,000 steps a day uh, over the next uh, 12 days. Um, and um, going to the gym. Now, I haven't really put it in this morning, I'll be honest with you, and I'm probably not going to tomorrow because I'm tired. I am tired. But I've still been to the gym today. I'm still going to go to the gym tomorrow. But I feel my energy levels are really going to kick in on Wednesday this week. So I'm going to really start putting some effort in with the old gym sessions. Not that I don't train quite hard anyway, but like I say, I'm really going to make sure my gym, my training is on point with the sole purpose of making sure I burn a decent amount of calories while I'm in the gym. I normally burn about 350 calories while I'm in the gym. Uh, my watch says I burn about 500, but Apple watches, any watch is quite optimistic when it comes to calories burned. So I'm gonna, sorry, I'm just shaking me, me, me protein shake that I've not managed to get down yet before recording this. So yeah, so I'm gonna make sure I, um, yeah, do, um, do some good workouts. So, I burn around about, uh, in, in 12 days, I think I'll burn, I'll, I'll burn about 41,000 um, calories, which means I can consume 20, no, am I right now? Hang on, let me get my calculator out. Right, 3,500 times 12, uh, 42,000 calories. So minus 12,000, yeah, uh, sorry, um, 42,000 calories. I told you I'm tired. Uh, minus 14,000, because that's the calorie deficit required to lose four pounds of body fat. Neil, you know the answer is 28,000, crying out loud. Right, and then divide that by 12. So I need to average about 2,400 calories a day calorie intake. It's quite low for me, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, but I'm going to try. I'm going to have a go. And that includes that includes uh, that wedding on Saturday. Whether I get anywhere near that, I don't know. But that's the math to do it. So I'm going to have a go. Right. Um, should we talk about food? Let's have a look at the old food diary. It's pretty pointless, to be honest with you. Before I get into the old food diary, uh, I just want to mention, um, I've had a week or so off. And I've been a bit lax, really, in May in terms of working and promoting things. So... 
Uh, I'm doing a little deal at the moment. If you want to come on my one-to-one -one plan, uh, this is until Friday the 17th of May, like 11.59 p.m., just before midnight is when the code will end. Uh, I'm knocking £20 off signed up to my one-to-one -one plan. So you can get signed up to my one-to-one -one plan for £29.99 instead of £49.99. There is a subscription as well. Uh, a monthly subscription for a minimum three months of 29.99 so uh basically if you want to come on one-to-one -one plan now it's 29.99 to sign up and then 29.99 and your first subscription i'm going to start on the first of june so basically you're going to pay 29.99 in may one in june one in july one in august that's your minimum term it's going to cover you until the end of summer uh and you can come on my one-to-one -one plan i will put the link to join my one-to-one -one plan uh as always in the description of this vlog uh, and use code i'm back not i'll be back i'm back i m b a c k i'll put that in the description as well um um and yeah, I'll knock that 20 quid off. So if you want to come on plan, there is no better time to get on plan. Right, let's get the food diary up. Like I say, there's not much to show really because I don't track calories when I'm on holiday. Never have done, never will do. Uh, I used to struggle, uh, probably the first couple of holidays I went on, I struggled with the mentality of going away on a holiday and, you know, having uh, a little bit of freedom, letting loose a little bit as it were, uh, but not now. So literally, um, as soon as I get to an airport, to be fair, if I go away, if I have a weekend away in this country, I tend not to track calories either. But certainly when I'm going away, as soon as I get to the airport, there is no tracking. So all I can show you there is what I did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, um, not last week, the, the week before. So still track calories, tried to stay as accountable as I could up until going away. Um so if I've gained four pounds of body fat over the last 10 days, now I've already said I need to be in a 14,000 calorie deficit to get rid of that, which would then suggest I've been in a 14,000 calorie surplus. My movement, I'm going to go into my movement uh, soon because like I said, there's not much really to talk about in terms of food. Uh, my movement uh, in terms of, uh, while I've been away, has been fantastic. I've done loads of steps. I hit the gym a couple of times, nothing major, but I did hit the gym twice, once on the first morning because I was up early. And then once, I think last Tuesday or Wednesday, uh, I did a little gym session as well, but loads of walking. Again, if you've ever been to Mexico, if you ever go to Mexico, the hotels are pretty big, right? Uh, and in fact, this hotel complex, complex? complex we stayed on uh, isn't the biggest we've ever stayed in at by no way shape or form to be honest with you but there's still a good bit of mooching about in the um in the hotel uh, mainly because there was a real lack of lifts there seemed to be it was a pretty big hotel it was about 400 rooms or something like that um and there seemed to be two lifts in the entire hotel so we were on the fourth floor um and yeah, it was too hot to run up and down stairs. It was fine walking about, but I wasn't running up and down stairs while I was away. So you had to sort of tread everywhere um, to either get to a lift or to get to a restaurant. And we were one side of the hotel and our room was like as far away as you could get from any of the restaurants in the hotel, from uh, where the sort of entertainment was, the lobby and stuff like that. So yeah, just loads and loads of movement. So I definitely burned 3,500 calories while I was away. Been a bit lazy while I've come back, uh, but I'm gonna suggest I've definitely done 3,500 calories for eight days and 3,000 calories for uh, two days, which would be um, a total calorie burn over the last 10 days of 34 thousand calories right so if i burn thirty four thousand calories that means to gain four pound of body fat i have eaten forty eight thousand calories so if i take forty eight thousand calories and divide that by 10 that's just under five thousand calories a day on average four thousand eight hundred would that sit true with what i've been eating yeah Probably, because if I go through, I mean, you can see there, I track calories Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, standard days for me, you know, protein porridge or yogurt in the morning, some sort of yogurt. I, I sort of get off, I'll get off the protein porridge now. The weather's improved a little bit. I'll probably just move to a bit more just porridge and fruit and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 
standard sort of days really trying to bank a few calories had a little bit more on the thursday just in a little bit of holiday mode and so on and so forth but you know from friday uh we were in the airport lounge before we flew out so uh, i did actually have loads in the airport lounge probably had three or four beers and a couple of mimosas uh um it was quite early in the morning and i think i just had a bacon butty i think i had a bacon sandwich like it's like a buffet in a lounge you just don't sell so i think i had bacon bacon sandwich and a few tots and obviously airplane food I had a good few drinks on the plane the drinks were flowing on the plane uh while we we're away the food wasn't great in the hotel, if I'm being uh, at all honest. It wasn't bad by any means, but it was just kind of average. I do get a bit greedy with buffets. I always have done. You know, I always think it's that kind of, you need to get your money's worth. And I don't know why I do that. I get a bit mad with myself over it. But compared to previous holidays, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't... I, Looking back, I don't think I was ridiculous. I only got drunk on one day. I did drink every day, but when I when I say drunk, I mean I woke up with a hangover last Tuesday, uh, and uh, as a hangover cure, I did kind of hit the pancakes and peanut butter and maple syrup quite a little bit. So that would have been a calorific breakfast. Um, but yeah, looking back, I don't think I was crazy with my eating. Uh, I had a few crisps and stuff like that, which we took with us because again, if you've ever been to Mexico. Uh, a share bag, you know, like a 150 gram bag of crisps in the hotel shop was $9, which is like seven quid. So yeah, you ain't buying many crisps while you're out there. So I had a few bits, um, definitely drunk a bit of alcohol. Like I say, not enough. Well, one day I was drunk one day uh, to the point where I had a hangover the next day. Other than that, it was just sort of steady away. But it can top. But do I think I've done an average of 5,000 calories a day? No. So again, that's kind of where, um, yeah, I've I've sort of got to where my weight gain is, and it kind of yeah, it kind of all all fits into place. So yeah, not a lot to discuss with my eating. Like I say, I've put that first one up. That's it. If you want to see the second one, uh, this, this is it. Yeah, this is the second one. Like I say, not one, uh, not one calorie uh, was um, was tracked. Yeah. Not one at all. Uh, so, yeah, there's not a lot I can discuss with my eating. It was just all-inclusive kind of buffet. They did have themed restaurants at the hotel. They have, like, an Italian and an Asian and a steakhouse. Again, they weren't great, and they were kind of a bit more buffet style. So the Italian restaurant was you help yourself to your starter, you help yourself to your dessert, but you ordered your main course. The Asian-themed restaurant, which was a little bit, it was kind of a Japanese, Chinese, Indian fusion, was all buffet. Uh, the steakhouse was a la carte, you just ordered off a menu, and there was another restaurant there called the Culinarium. Um, Rio Dunamar, by the way, was the hotel we stayed at in Mexico. Lovely, I, I did really enjoy it. Hotel super clean, staff were fantastic. Location was lovely, beats were stunning. Uh, drinks were decent. Uh, food was just, like I say, a bit average. But I don't, in all honesty, when I say average, you know, it just wasn't the best we've had compared to other trips to Mexico and other hotels we've been to. Uh, but there was never a day where I had something that was like, oh, that's disgusting. It was just, it didn't set my world on fire, which was probably a good thing because it did kind of, I suppose, rein it in a little bit. Uh, but still, yeah, 12.2 pound uh, weight gain. But like I say, a massive chunk of that will be water. Um, and like I say, yeah, I'm going to try and get rid of it in a couple of weeks, if I can. Whether I get there or not, I don't know. But I've set myself that little target. Um, okay, let's have a look at this movement that I've talked about uh, over the last couple of weeks. So let me get these steps up. I don't know which is which here. Which one's that? That's 6th to the 12th of May. Uh, let me uh, let me get uh, the other uh, picture up. Come on. Come on. Up oh, your pop. There we go. Right. So, uh, week commencing the uh, 29th of um, April, uh, I averaged 12,399 steps that week. Uh, and really, it was the Saturday, the first day in, uh, in, in Mexico. As you see there, Friday on our travel day, under 10,000 steps. Um, Still didn't do too badly, to be fair. You know, literally, I've done 
Friday was basically walking through Manchester Airport, walking through Cancun Airport, and then having a little mooch around our hotel. Um, that was about it, really. Still managed about 9,000 steps. But Saturday, uh, yes, probably looking at about 17,000 steps on Saturday, uh, a good 13,000 steps on Sunday. And steps during the week before Friday were all over 10,000, uh, probably just over 10,000 on Monday. But again, good steps on Tuesday. Uh, so yeah, 12,299 for that week. So again, really good movement. Um, and, you know, my average steps for 2024 is about 11,000 a day. So yeah quite a bit more than uh, than what I would normally do. And then steps for last week, as you can see there, Saturday, Sunday just gone, I did not move at all. I was extremely sedentary. Uh, I did just about 5,000 steps on Saturday, did about 6,500 yesterday. But the rest of the week, Monday, about 18, I think I did 19,000 steps on Monday from memory. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, well over 10,000, sort of 13,000, 14 there. Um, yeah, really good. And then averaged over the week, 11,000. So that's even with, you know, averaging, um, yeah, doing, I did 11,000 steps Saturday, Sunday. So even with just doing, you know, averaging five and a half thousand Saturday, Sunday, uh, still managed 11,000. So movement was really, really good last week. Uh, and let's have a look at workouts for the last, well, for the last two weeks, movement's really good. Really good the first week. Uh, a bit lower the, last week, but again, that was just because I was a bit of a lazy sod on Saturday, Sunday. That's because I was tired. Uh, and then um, last but by no means least, uh, let's get up the old workouts. So again, before I went on holiday, stay committed to the gym. So I went uh, on uh, the 29th. Um, you'll see on the 30th, I must have caught strength training by accident uh, and it's logged 20 calories. Uh, but then, I, uh, and the, or I stopped it early or, or something like that. I, must, I think I can't remember, but I've, I've either started it or stopped it by accident and then restarted it there. But anyway, um, trained on the Monday the 29th, trained on Tuesday the uh, 30th. Uh, and then if we have a look at May, uh, going into May. So, yeah, again, train first and second. So that week before I went on holiday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, got in the gym. And then on the fourth, first morning in Mexico, trained. Oh, and then on the Wednesday, uh, got a little gym session. And, you know, I only did in in, in the gym uh, on holiday 30 minutes. I just did 30 minute blasts, so one on the Saturday, one on the Wednesday. I would have trained a bit more, if I'm being honest with you. My plan was to go every other day. My plan was to go Saturday, um, Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I went to the gym on the Monday, and I think that's why I did 19,000 steps. And you couldn't get in. It wasn't that big a gym. And it was rammed. I don't know if they had loads of people checking in on the Sunday or what it was. But you were literally queuing for equipment. And I ain't doing that on holiday. So I think I just went for a walk in the morning for half an hour. So... That's obviously added a few extra steps in uh, for the Monday. Uh, got in there on the Wednesday. And then on the Friday, we were travelling home. And I did plan to go to the gym. But I um, don't know why. I just didn't. I think we were just making the most of the morning, to be honest with you. Oh, no, that was it. I didn't. I was working. I was working on the Friday. So Friday's check-in day for my clients. So if you do come on my one-to-one -one plan, you check in every other Friday. So every Friday, I have check-ins to do. So, you know... it. Were, Whichever clients don't check in one Friday, uh, they'll check in on the following Friday. So, uh, yeah, I ended up um, getting up at about six in the morning and working for for a few hours on the Friday morning. Uh, then went for breakfast with Rachel's family before we flew home. Managed a, an hour and a half by the pool just to finish the holiday off. One last little blast of sunshine and then travelled home. Anyway, yeah, I got a couple of gym sessions. People always say, oh, why do you go to the gym on holiday? Because I love it. I enjoy training. I really, really do. You know, it's like, why do people play golf on holiday? Why do people, you know, go for nice walks on holiday? Why do people go to restaurants on holiday? Because they enjoy doing it, right? Um, but I think a lot of people, um, yeah, I think a lot of people do do struggle. Um with enjoying exercise. But if you find 
an exercise you enjoy doing, you will be consistent with it. You will enjoy it. And I think a lot of people haven't found that. They haven't found the exercise that they enjoy doing. I love going to the gym. I love lifting weights. I don't like doing cardio, uh, and I don't do lots of cardio, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, I go through uh, waves of cardio. I'll do it for a few weeks, then I'll get bored. But weights, I am extremely consistent with doing, because I enjoy doing it. It's that simple. It is that simple. Okay. So um, that's kind of it, really, for this uh, for this vlog. It's, there's not loads to discuss because I haven't been tracking loads of calories. I've been looking at these vlogs over the last few weeks. Obviously, I've been doing them since January. Uh, I'm going to mix them up. Not mix them up, really, but I know each week I put my weekly um, food table up, kind of, you know, my weekly diary uh, from new to check up for you to see. I don't post the daily diary, although I talk about it because it's hard to, you can't really screenshot it and put it up. I might have a look and see how I can do that. But what I am going to start doing is, is start taking some pictures of, of foods that I'm eating, like my meals and stuff, and I'll start pinning them. So when I'm talking, you know, oh, on Wednesday I had this for dinner, I'll I'll, I'll, it'll take a bit more editing, but I don't mind that. I'll pin a picture of it so you can kind of see. And I'm just doing, I'm not telling you guys to eat what I eat or eat the way I eat. You eat the way you want to eat, you know. But I think some people struggle for a bit of inspiration when it comes to um, weight loss or, or what to eat while losing weight. And you can generally eat, well, g not generally, genuinely, you can eat whatever you want as long as you're in a calorie deficit you will lose body fat. That doesn't mean you should because what we eat can determine how easy it is to stick to a calorie deficit. So if you're going to eat foods all the time that are going to make you constantly hungry, that's going to make it harder to control your calories. So the way I eat is I focus on eating foods that fill me up, right? I, uh, I also focus on foods that are, uh, are pretty good for me. Uh, but I also like to have that balance where I don't want to feel overly restricted. I don't mind eating healthy, and I've always had a philosophy of making healthy food tasty, right? There's no reason why healthy food can't be tasty. Um, but you see a lot of people posting on social media uh, about this is what I eat in a day to lose weight. And when I look at their meals, I am just like, that is probably the most boring, bland food I've ever seen. I did it today for my lunch, and I'll talk about this next week, and I, I did take a picture of it, but because uh, I've already talked about it, I'm just watching my carbs a little bit uh, for breakfast and lunch. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm watching carbs for breakfast and lunch. I'm going to have my carbs with my tea, so tonight uh, I'm on uh, spuds. Uh, I, I eat potatoes, generally some sort of variety of potato every day. Um, but I'm just watching my carbs a little bit for breakfast, just for a few days while I flush out that excess water retention. Excuse me. And um, yeah, I had a meal today and it was 100 grams of rump steak, uh, 190 grams of chicken thigh, uh, a couple of eggs and a bit of avocado. And, and I literally posted on my Instagram saying I'm turning into one of them keto carnivore burks. Um, you know, promote this is why I eat in a day and they normally do it on a chopping board. Why? I have no idea. Let's put it on a plate, mate. But anyway, there you go. Um, and this is my lunch today. I've got some steak. I've got some chicken. I've got... And do you know what? I, I I made that today just because it was quick. It was simple. Uh, but do you know what? If I had to eat like that every day, I would honestly... Well, I, it just goes to show that this is why people struggle for consistency. Because, yeah, it didn't taste bad by any means. But it certainly did not light my life up by any means whatsoever um i love steak i love chicken um i love eggs um i've never been a massive fan of avocado but i started eating it a bit uh, quite often in mexico obviously guacamole and then uh, having a piece uh, on my breakfast in the morning um just because it looked really good the fruit out there was amazing i've actually bought a pineapple today and it's going to be so disappointing because I must have eaten at least a whole pineapple every day. Uh, every time I went to the buffet for food, breakfast, lunch or dinner, uh, I'd have a plate of pineapple afterwards. Absolutely. It's so It was like eating sweets. It was that sweet. It was delicious. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, I, I started having a little bit of, you know, I'd have a blob of, um, 
I ate quite a lot of Mexican food, to be honest with you. Well, you are in Mexico, aren't you? And there was a little Mexico uh, section in, in in the buffet. Um, you know, a bit of rice, bit of, you know, uh, pulled chicken or pork or beef or something like that. Some tacos and guacamole and sour cream and pico de gallo and all sorts of different bits. And I absolutely love stuff like that. So I thought, John, I'm just going to have a bit of avocado, a bit of steak and a bit of eggs for my dinner today. Uh, and you know what, yeah, absolutely, all lovely ingredients, but as a meal, bland and boring as anything. And if people are going to try and eat like that every single day, like I say, I'll show you the meal next week, uh, it's going to absolutely bore you to death. Bore you to death. It really, really is. Um, and for my tea tonight, we've got a chicken, uh, not a chicken, well, kind of a chicken Caesar salad, bought some buttermilk chicken tenders from Tesco, uh, got a Caesar salad kit from Tesco and I'm going to do some air fried uh, chippy whips with it. Uh, now that is, is going to be a lot less calories than my lunch. Maybe not quite as good in terms of nutrition, but certainly not terrible in terms of nutrition. Um, and I can't wait. I'm salivating over it. Whereas tomorrow I had planned to have steak, chicken, eggs and avocado again tomorrow. And I'm like, really? That again? There you go. Um, so I will be having steak, eggs, and avocado again for my dinner tomorrow. It's in my app. Uh, though I'll just I'll probably cook it a little bit differently. I'll probably have uh, scrambled egg, uh, avocado. It's just avocado. Uh, a bit of salt on the avocado. I might season it with a little bit of paprika or something like that. Or get an extra bit of seasoning on there. Um, and steak and chicken. I'll just do it in the air fryer as I did today. There we go. Right. Uh, what's happening over the next few weeks? Not a lot, really. It's quite simple and straightforward. Um, weight loss, weight loss, weight loss. Still got quite a bit on. Uh, got a wedding this Saturday. A week on Saturday is the FA Cup final. Um, um, I mean, <laughs> I think I'm going to be drowning my sorrows to that one, being a Man United fan. But uh, a couple of mates are going to go to the local pub and watch it. So I'll, I'll join them. I'll probably have a couple of beers. But nothing. It's not going to be anything major. Again, it's still weight loss, weight loss, weight loss. Nothing on the week after that. Uh, and nothing on... Um, yeah, nothing on the week after that. Week after that, I've got another all-day wedding. This wedding on Saturday, I'm not planning on it being a bit of a boozy one. Um, it's more of my wife's friend really than mine although I've known Amy a long time um, but we don't know anyone else going to the wedding we, 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 we have there's you know it's not like we've got friends going so when the weddings are like that I mean it could go one or two ways we could just end up having a really good time with random people we've never met before um, but I always think if you the wedding we've got in June is uh, Rachel's maid of honour. Uh, is one of my very good friends that's getting married. And I just know that's going to be a bit more of a boozy one and a bit more of a calorific one. Uh, whereas this one, I just... I, like I said, I'm going to have a couple... I'll probably have a couple of beers when I get there. I might even drive you. I haven't decided. I haven't decided. I'm kind of in my mind. Like, I'll have a couple of beers when I get there, a glass of wine with the wedding breakfast just to toast everyone and then just stop drinking for a good few hours and then I'm able to drive home. Um... I don't know. I don't know. I'll I'll, de I'll decide. Uh, as my jet lag gets less throughout the week, it probably will get to a case of, no, I have a few beers, Neil. I don't know. But anyway, it'll all be built into my calories. And uh, like I said, I've still got that, that goal, that challenge. So we'll see how we get on. Anyway, next week's weekly weight loss vlog uh, will be kind of back to normal. We'll have a seven-day uh, seven diary completed. First one for a good few weeks. Like I said, I'm going to go through what I eat. I'll pin some pictures just for a bit of inspiration for you guys. Talk about movement, talk about anything else. There you go. That's it. Uh, if there's anything you'd like me to discuss, by the way, in these weekly weight loss vlogs, if there's anything you want me to go through in a bit more in depth, I know I do the podcasts as well. And obviously I do a lot of lives. And if you are in my community or you're on my one-to-one -one plan, you know I do a lot of lives and Zoom sessions. And that. But anything that you, you know, you'd know you like me to expand on, please let me know and I, and I will do it. Again, any comments, uh, any questions, please get them. Get them in. Um, yeah, there we go. Right. Um I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think there is. Okay, so, um, yeah, I don't know if you found this useful or not. You might not have done, but anyway, um, back to normal next week. And until the next weekly weight loss vlog, or until I see you, as always, make sure you are bossing your weight loss. <laughs>